Uh, thank you all for uh, being here this morning. Uh, we're here to make a couple exciting announcements. Uh, one is the uh, STABLE program, uh, which is a new investment program that we're offering to people with disabilities, uh, people with autism and Down syndrome and cerebral palsy and different disabilities throughout the state of Ohio. Uh, we have decided to offer to people with disabilities throughout the United States of America. And uh, we are announcing this morning uh, that this uh, STABLE account will be available to any citizen with a disability in any state in the United States of America. Uh, we're in the process now of reaching out to state treasurer offices uh, throughout the other 49 states uh, to offer to them that Ohio will administer stable accounts for citizens with disabilities uh, in their states as well. Uh, as you may know, when Congress uh, passed this law enabling these type of accounts, uh, they said to the states, that they felt every citizen with a disability in America should have access uh, to a, a stable account, uh, but did not specify how that access would work. And we have chosen here in the Ohio Treasurer's Office to be the first state in America to have stable accounts up and running for citizens with disabilities. And this morning we're announcing that we've also chosen uh, to uh, be a national leader in this by offering it to every citizen in this country who has some type of special need. Uh, as many of you may know, uh, before these accounts became available, uh, oftentimes people with special needs were forced uh, to uh, live uh, in poverty uh, and in an indigent type lifestyle. Uh, now, for the first time ever, uh, they can accept dollars from their families. Uh, families can put in up to $14,000 a year into a stable account. Uh, in addition to that, uh, they can have north of $400,000 in an account uh, without losing uh, certain, uh, certain benefits uh, at, the, uh, at, the, at the federal level. Uh, this also is an incentive for those with disabilities uh, to work as well, uh, because before this, if there was too much in a bank account, they could actually lose their disabilities. Uh, and now more and more, uh, as citizens with special needs and other disabilities uh, may want to work in a variety of different careers, uh, this allows them the opportunity to strive and have upward mobility and actually more earning potential without losing uh, their, uh, their disability benefits. With all of the unfortunate partisan bickering uh, in the nation's capital and in state capitals throughout this country, uh, this is one of those issues that is completely nonpartisan. It's brought together people completely across the political spectrum. Uh, if you look in Washington, uh, when this uh, original bill was passed, uh, you see people on the far right and on the far left who were co-sponsors and people who voted for this bill. Uh, similarly, uh, when the legislation uh, passed uh, with leadership of Margie Condit, uh, Representative Deaver from Cincinnati, uh, Senator Eklund from Cleveland, and Senator Jones from Warren County, uh, when this bill passed uh, in Columbus, it passed unanimously. Every Democrat, every Republican, every Republican in the uh, state house and state senate voted for it and uh, we're proud to administer this program uh, in a way that's completely blind to politics uh, and in a way that has one goal in mind uh, what's best for people with disabilities here in ohio and as we're announcing this morning throughout the united states of america as well uh, i mentioned uh, margie uh, because without her leadership uh, the leadership of the other legislators I mentioned, this would not have happened. And I'd like to uh, call up here Representative Condit to uh, make a few remarks uh, on the stable accounts and uh, why they did this and what it means for people with disabilities. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for inviting me here today. And I really want to thank all of the legislators, not, not just myself, but Jonathan Deaver, uh, Shannon Jones and John Eklund for their leadership in making this happen and collectively we would like to, to thank our treasurer uh, Josh Mandel because without his leadership we wouldn't be first in the nation without his leadership this wouldn't be the kind of open checkbook for citizens with disabilities and so I thank you treasurer for your leadership in making this happen and I think it's a blessing to Ohio and it'll be a blessing to our country thank you, thank you. Uh, our office uh, has an all-star who's leading this program, 
uh, Juliana Chris, who's here with us this morning. Um, she will be the first one to tell you, though, that she would not, not, not have been able to get this up and running as the first in the nation uh, were it not for an incredible advisory group, uh, basically moms and dads throughout the state of Ohio who've been volunteering their time to help out, and also without the leadership of John Martin, the director of the Ohio Department of Developmental Disabilities and the people in his office. Uh, so I'd like to uh, call up here uh, Director Martin to uh, say a few words and talk about how his office will be involved with this process moving forward and what it means to the people that they serve. Thanks, thanks. Well, I want to just start by saying <clears throat> I think this is really a proud moment uh, for Ohio, that Ohio, through Chip Gephardt and others, was a real leader at getting this through on the national level. So Ohio's footprint at the national level was really strong. <clears throat> and just this last week, I was at a national conference of all state DD directors. And because of the hard work of Josh and Juliana and, and folks in the treasurer's office, the fact that Ohio is first uh, out of the chute is really getting national attention. And not just first out of the chute for our state, but the fact that you all have worked to make this available to folks in, in all states. So again, I just want to thank uh, Josh, his leadership, his office, Juliana. Um, it's been a real privilege to, to work with them. This is going to be a huge asset to families and individuals with disabilities. Um, many of the folks in our system are eligible for Medicaid, but with that comes a lot of restrictions and a lot of challenges for families. And so when we combine these stable accounts with Medicaid and other programs, it's going to make a huge increase in the quality of life for folks with disabilities. So our department looks forward to working with the Treasurer's Department. Uh, I see we have representatives from the county boards here, advocacy groups, to making sure that families across our state are aware of this program, the benefits of this program, and how it can enhance the quality of lives for their sons and daughters. So again, thanks uh, to the Treasurer's Office for the good work. and. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to say a few words.